Today's starter is a very rustic pigeon salad with a hazelnut vinaigrette, and it has to be the most perfect time of the year for a pigeon salad. This is a fantastic mix of flavours with the gamey taste of pigeon, set off by the rich nuttiness of hazelnuts, the earthiness of the beetroot combined with the oak leaf lettuce. Wakey, wakey now. Now it's, uh, yes? Understand what you're doing. Don't panic, don't rush, yes? But get a grip. Now, you've probably never cooked with pigeon before, but it really is easy, very straightforward, so go on, have a go. Now, we're not cooking town pigeons from Trafalgar Square. These are actually wood pigeons that have led a much happier life and obviously eaten from all over the woodlands, making them a lot tastier bird. Now, the secret behind cooking the pigeon perfectly is you've only got to cook it between four and five minutes. Start off on the skin, colour it and turn it over, and then put your butter in. Helping us cook tonight are two commies. This week is Danny, he's a 21-year-old from Essex. He's passionate about cooking and he's been working in kitchens for six years. He's a chef at a pub brasserie in Essex. I just really want to better my career. I want to be successful in what I do. I don't, I don't want to work in a pub for the rest of my life. I want to work in London's top restaurant. And Phil, he's 19 and he's from the Wirral and has just won Wirral Chef of the Year 2005. Is that a good thing? I'll find out tonight. I want to be right up there at the top with the, well, with the likes of Gordon Ramsay to work in Claridge's. Be massive. I want Phil in there doing that now. I want Phil in there doing that now. I want Phil in there doing that now. That's three times. I'm not saying it again. Yeah? There you go. Control it. I want the oil nice and brown, not black, Phil. And don't be scared to take it off the heat when it's getting too hot, yes? Pigeon is a very lean meat, you know that. Very, very little fat in the centre, so be very careful because if it's too hot, you're going to overcook it. Yeah? It dries out instantly. Be very careful. Phil and Danny are competing head to head. And at the end of the night, I'll decide who's staying and who's going home. Now, to finish the top of the salad, we've got cloves of garlic that have been sliced very, very thin. But that's too strong for this salad, so we're going to fry it very, very quickly. Once they're cooked, drain them from the oil, and you've got these really nice, fine garlic chips. OK, start the plate up, yes? That's your bowl. Danny, that's your bowl. Start off with a nice little handful of nuts. Quick. Gently, gently. OK, beetroot on top. Some picked coriander leaves in there. Coriander. Some beans in there. Mm. Now, don't get your hands in there yet. Don't you dare get your hands in there yet. This is a salad that dresses itself. Rock salt. Just a touch in there, yes? OK, now watch. You get the bowl and you just roll it round. I don't want hands in there. Combine the salad, the beans, nuts, coriander. On. Let's go. Make sure it's evenly distributed, yes? Gordon. Good. Watch. You get the breast like that, and you just slice down, mm. almost like you're slicing smoked salmon. Then you get your vinaigrette, mm. and you just glaze over whilst it's still nice and warm. Yeah? OK. Now, garlic chips. You take a little handful, and you just scatter them around nicely. You don't throw them on there, you just scatter them around. The smell coming from that plate is phenomenal. You happy yes. with that? Yeah? Good. Send it. Five salad of pigeon. Table six, please. Beetroot, lots more hazelnut. Yeah, don't skim. Okay, then um, how was the pigeon? Uh, lovely. A beautiful, fat, really happy uh -huh. bird. Nice wood pigeon. Yeah, not, yeah. not a nasty Trafalgar Square thing. Really happy with it. Salad, a little bit imbalanced, I thought, a little bit. Really? Yeah, the beetroot I wouldn't walk a mile for, but really? that was great.